Good evening. If you've ever watched The West Wing or House of Cards, uh, you have an idea of how central press briefings are to the policy and public image of the White House. My name is Philip Rosenstein. I'm the founder of White House Press, a nonpartisan news website focused on reporting by the White House Press Corps. The White House is the heartbeat of policy in the United States, and the President's intent carries weight both domestically and around the world. White House Press aggregates news from around the web from, different sor from varying sources and different parts of the political spectrum, and adds context to those articles using the briefings and releases from the press office. The goal of the site is to become SCOTUS blog of the White House. This here is the uh, alpha site of White House Press. The year tabs at the top offer direct access to any briefing held during Obama's presidency. The core and West Wing tabs offer additional information as to what goes on behind the scenes at the White House. The linked articles on the front page are accompanied by short summaries of what was discussed in the article. And in many cases, um, there will be links to specific briefings or releases that were quoted or, ref or referenced in those articles. Over time, these releases and briefings that are linked will be categorized and tagged to their specific topics. And this will become a highly specialized professional service for, that can be used for a number of different reasons. And as this happens, the uh, users can click on uh, this right-hand tab and find all the, all the information that's been discussed about these topics, or they can just use a search bar. Our budding political actors in university and in high school can benefit from a website that doesn't really take any sides and offers all sides of a story. Journalists and politicians can use this growing data, uh, growing, piece, piece, growing sets of data, to help with either crafting public policy or image in the case of politicians, and for journalists to really speed up the process of doing research and in-depth analysis on the White House. These are the current, uh, pro this is a, these are the current uh, numbers of the site. The Facebook number is 212, I think, um, without any specific marketing or SEO techniques in use, which are both central to the next steps the site will take. Uh, the monetization plan includes advertisements that are specifically based uh, or focused on people interested in DC and politics. Uh, a subscription service that for large organizations that are heavy users of this service and small donations directly to the site. There are other websites that address a similar space. Uh, for example, Real, Real, Real Clear Politics aggregates news from around the web. Uh, however, if you want to go really in depth on, on the issue that's being discussed or know more about what the White House has said on that issue, you really have to go at it on your own to find more information about that stuff. It is only at White House Press that you'll be able to go seamlessly from the article, quote, uh, from the, an article to the quoted source or um, material at the White House. The next steps the site will take includes hiring a team of freelancers to help with categorization and aggregating news on the site. Uh, a, web, a, a new front page is in the works, which hopefully will be live by the end of this week. And that will focus on a more search-based um, view of, of, the, of this product. And finally, by July 1st, there'll be a briefing package, which is a linked daily briefing with an index at the top, making it really easy and a lot quicker for journalists to read through the issues that have been discussed at any specific briefing. I'm really interested in talking to anyone who cares about transparency in Washington, DC, and wants to know more about what we can do to get the public more engaged in uh, what's going on at the White House. Thank you very much.